guys, if you manage a commercial property that has LED lights to enhance a building or a bridge like the ones shown here, you may have an iPlayer 3 controller which uses ColorPlay 3 software to create light shows or an ambient atmosphere. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your ColorPlay 3 software to the iPlayer 3 controller and we're going to create a simple fixed color trigger and alarm or schedule for your LED fixture. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is connect your laptop to the controller via the USB port. Once you've done that, you want to go to configuration on the software right here and click on refresh. The purpose of refreshing is to make sure that the software is compatible with the controller. Uh, if I go to this drop down menu here, you'll notice that there, there's also, this software can also use um, or is compatible with iColor Player. But I have an iPlayer 3, and that's what it's shown here. So we want to hit connect. Now we're connected. Before we do anything else, go to controller settings and make sure that your global time is set properly. So I'm in LA and this is the current time and date. Go over to triggers tab and you'll probably notice that there are triggers assigned already that are in red. So we've been using this controller and player for quite some time, so you'll notice that there are some files on here. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, let's go to trigger number 35. This is not assigned to anything. So on the left-hand side, we want to double-click on the trigger. Um, we're just going to create a fixed color, so uh, snap transition is fine, but here are the other options. And then we want to come down to play fixed color. And just to show you, these are the other options as well. So I was tasked to change our tower lights to the City of Hope, and this is what they requested. I'm going to click OK. So if you see now, Trigger 35 has a setting of color effect, this code, and on the right hand side is the triggers on controller. If you notice that it is not assigned to anything. So we need to transfer what's on the left to the right by clicking on this arrow. And there it is. It's very fast. So the, after this we need to do, we need to um, set the schedule or alarms. And I find that it's best practice to um, have the trigger and alarm on the same number. So we did trigger number 35. I'm going to do alarm 35. We're going to double click on alarm 35, click on type. You can do it on the weekends, weekdays, every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, I want to do it every day for just the year, this year, from August 22nd to September 26th. I like to use astronomical setting. Our light fixtures are on a photo cell, so when the sun rises, the lights will turn off. So I want to click on astronomical. Don't worry about setting a time here. Go to this drop down menu and click on before sunset. So the lights will turn on before sunset. And then you wanna make sure that it plays the correct trigger. So change this to 35. And there you go. The setting is um, on alarm 35. And again, we need to transfer it to the controller by click on, clicking on the right arrow. And you're all set. So 
that's about it. It's a very simple process. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and good luck.